Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Tonight, what I'm hoping to do for you is let you know if you should be interested in picking up the Quacks of Quedlinburg, the Alchemist expansion. The second big expansion for Wolfgang Warsh's amazing Quacks of Quedlinburg, one of my favorite board games I've ever played, the best push-your-luck game on the market as far as I'm concerned. This is an expansion that does require the original Quacks of Quedlinburg. I have not read the rules for this expansion, and the only thing I know about what comes inside comes from the back of the box. So I don't even quite know what I'm getting here, and I'm not going to be able to tell you how to play because I don't even know. But you know what? I got this game for Christmas, and it's unboxing day, and I think it's time to crack this open and let me excitedly look at what I get, and I decide to share that with you. So come with me on this journey as we open up The Alchemist for The Quacks of Quedlinburg. Step one, of course, is removing that shrink wrap. Boom. Let's take a look inside this box. I'm really looking forward to this one. Thank you, kids, for picking this up for me. Oh, look at what we got. We got new fortune teller cards or other stuff. At least one new fortune teller card. A new wooden chit. And more ingredients. Though that's the bad ones. Why, why do we see in more snap bangs? Do we really want more snap bangs? All right, first off, the cards are on top. I'm going to bury those just for a sec. Because what I want to flip through first is the rules, and then we'll look at what this stuff is. There's like a guy with a carrot nose and a bunch of rabbits. All right, so this shows you the contents. Um, it's got five different player colors, which is nice to see, which means it works with herb witches, um, as well as a bunch of other stuff. But you know what? We're going to look at what this stuff is, so I'm not going to stay on this page too long. Um, you do need the game. So it looks like, oh, it's a fold out. So we have the new game set up, the how to play. So there are probably multiple. No, it looks like it's just one new expansion. So new phase, the essence phase. And it goes through the essence phase, which looks like it's going to use a cool little beaker thing that you're going to track stuff on. Um, then we have the various essences that you can collect. Um, these are still more various essences you can collect and what they do. And then the new ingredient books. Okay, so what you have here is just one, two modules, it looks like. So unlike the last expansion that had multiple modules you can take in or take out of your game, you have the main alchemist one, and then you do have new ingredient books, which is all new ways for um, the loco weed, which was included in the herb witches. So new books for the loco weed, which is actually kind of cool because the loco weed only had two varieties in the original book. So let's take a look at what we got. I got to say already, I can tell this is going to nestle really nice on top of the existing boards. Um, we'll get to the cards last. So what you do get in here is more snap banks. It looks like a full set, possibly for a fifth player. No, so, so, so it's a full set of one, two, three, four, five, plus two. Yeah, it's a full starting set, um, including the one you add partway through the game. These are the new essences, which have really amusing arts on them. Um, looks like you're doing bad things to your people, like giving them an earworm or giving them a carrot nose. Uh, then we have this, this awesome thing, which yeah, is two-sided. Which is awesome, because it means your pot can be set up for left or right-handed. Um, then there's the essences themselves, which are shaped like the ingredients. Which I don't know if those get put in your bag or not. We'll have to find out once we read the rules. Then we have this for four. I'm going to guess there's five of these boards in each of the player colors. So I'm just tipping this so I can see it. So there we have the blue, and each of these has two essences on it. So one, two. Uh, the essences are not. Oh, look at how well punched that is. The essences are two-sided, but it's more of um, a description, not like variation. So then we get to the next one, the Witch's Hump. Again, a bunch more local weed and more snap banks. And then the Blue Player's Vial. And on the back, the descriptions. We're going to go through these even quicker. Two more essences. Oh, here's the new cards for the local weeds. So new abilities for local weeds, which I love. Local weeds are one of my favorite ingredients. And these are two-sided. What's odd is they don't show the bookmarks. That's a little weird. They don't have the bookmarks to show that you're on, like, side one, side two. That's really odd because all the other ingredients have them. Strange. Um, wing ears. Then we have two more essences, two more essence counters, and a whole lot more of these. And that's the one that fell out. That's it. 
we're going to put this back in here. Yes, I know it's upside down, but I don't care. Now we're going to take a quick look at what we get for cards. For that, I'm just going to move everything out of the way. And we're going to crack these open. So we have new fortune teller cards. A lot of them. Cool. A lot of new fortune teller cards. So, of course, we have some. Oh, they, that's nice. They have a symbol on them that basically shows that you this only works with the alchemists. But then other ones that work with everything else. This one only works with herb witches. Oh, I should be holding this up a little closer. My bad. Should have zoomed in, actually. So that's cool. They're, they're actually marked, right? So this one doesn't have it. I'm not going to read through these. That one, you need herb witches. I appreciate that because I, I was surprised herb witches didn't come with more fortune teller cards. These, of course, match the backs from the original. And then same deal here. Yeah, same thing. I dig it. New fortune teller cards are always welcome. And I like the fact that there's some in here that even if you didn't want to play with the expansions are available. All right, I have no clue what these are. This has to do something with alchemists. Oh, there's multiple sides. Wow. Okay, interesting. These do show victory points. Again, I got this for Christmas. I probably should have did some research ahead of time. But look at this. This fits right there. So it's obviously what you're trying to brew. And it looks like if you get your potion to here, you get one point, one point to there, two points to there, two points. And it says forgetfulness. On this side, though, it's get green. Get green um, green chips, maybe, or go shopping. So there's a ton of these. Like, here's a completely different one that shows yellow instead and, or points. Another one that shows earworm and points and so on. There are a ton of these. Looks very interesting. So it looks like the big thing that's going to happen with this is a new track you're going to go up and get various rewards for when you get to certain points. Seems simple enough. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I don't think so. All right. One slight, slight quibble. No baggies or anywhere to put this stuff except for these. So unfortunately, I'm going to put these back in here and they're going to slide all over the place and make a mess. But that's a future me problem. Sorry, Mo. All right, there you have what you get in the Alchemist for Quacks of Quedlinburg, which I don't want to shake around too much because the cards are now loose in there. Uh, this looks neat. Uh, there's new player boards that are going to nestle on top of your existing player boards. They're still done with the two-sided thing, so you can flip them either way if you're more comfortable, depending on your handedness. You've got a whole ton of snap bangs and local weed, more local weed. I'm assuming they're there. Maybe there's ways you can earn snap bangs. I'm not sure um what's going on with those but again i haven't read this um surprising to me is there's just basically two modules a big one that lets you play the alchemists in here and then new varieties for actually i would say th there's three um new varieties for the local weed but then once we saw the cards we also saw that there are new um fortune teller cards which could be added to the base game what i like is there's fortune teller cards that require the two expansions and to me that's a cool thing that's going to integrate um, the Herb Witches, which is a separate expansion, more with uh, the original game and this game. It's going to make them more of a coherent whole. I can't wait to check this out. Thank you for joining me for this. So when I do finally crack this open and start playing, which I'm expecting to happen on New Year's Eve this year, um, I will be sharing my thoughts, probably not that night, but in the coming weeks on my various social media accounts where you can find me everywhere. It's Tabletop Bellhop, one word. I'll then probably end up writing up a review, which you'll be able to find at tabletopbellhop.com on our YouTube account ta at Tabletop Bellhop, as well as our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Which means if you're curious about the Quacks and Quedlinburg, you can join in and find out more by listening, reading, or watching. Thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing video. If you enjoyed this video and the other content we create, it would be awesome if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and considered tipping your bell hop. Finally, if you can, before you go, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell, get notified the next time I happen to be publishing a video. Thank you, good day, and game on.